It's about a quarter after the hour and time now for What's Trending. Wildlife officials tranquilized a moose in a parking garage in Vail, Colorado after it started spending a little too much time in the area. Check this out. Saw caught on camera. Officers have kept an eye out for this moose for about a month after calls came in about it hanging out in neighborhoods. And within the last 10 days, the moose started frequenting the ground level of parking garages. Officials said they expected to have the young bull moose back in the wild yesterday afternoon. So glad to hear that it is uh, back in its natural environment. But uh, what a strange story here. And first of all, if that's a young moose, uh, that's a big, that's, that's a, a big bi boy. That's a big moose yeah. already. Yeah. They, so, and that and we, we received pictures. I mean, we can see these up here in northern Wisconsin. Violence County has had a few sightings. Right. More common in Michigan, too. So, it, I mean, it can happen. And, yeah. right. and it's, yeah, I'm kind of running out of words here. It's really cool to just see this a cool, this a creature like that. And they can get big. It's very cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting. Um, but, you know, they're, they're all over. And uh, you, you don't normally think of them in, in these, like, city areas, right? But uh, it's definitely for the best, I think, that they got him out of that situation. He was probably lost. Um, and, you know, hopefully no, no cars were damaged in, uh, in yeah. that. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of weird to say. But I, if I saw it in my yard, I, you know, I might not let, like, a dog, if I had, like, a dog out or yeah. anything. But I would have just, you know, let him find his way. I mean, well, of course, call to let them know. But <laughs> I wouldn't, like, do anything. To, to bother it or anything sure. like that. But the poor thing was just lost, yeah. you know? So he's, I'm sure. he's trying to find his way back home. <laughs> and I'm sure your dog Simba would probably be barking at it, yeah, too, right? probably. He probably wouldn't play with, with Yeah, the he probably would want to meet it and hang out. But. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, Simba, obviously, a big people lover, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, well, speaking of outside things, uh, cicadas, not my favorite. They're making their presence known across the U.S. yet again. My goodness. Only this time, it is not the black body bugs with red beady eyes. It's those guys only appearing periodically. These are the green screaming cicadas. Screaming is the key word here. And they emerge every summer. They are slightly larger species than their black counterparts and they are also called dog day cicadas because they appear in the hot summer months. The dog day cicada usually starts showing up in early July and can stick around through October. It is just one of 163 species of annual cicadas that live in the lower 48 states. First of all, I didn't even know that there were different species of cicadas. Did we know this? I, did. I didn't know that. I did, being from central Illinois. I because don't like them. We get these every year. And, I mean, we call them cicadas here in a story. But back home, I've heard them called locust before. So oh, yeah, I've I don't, heard that. I don't know if that's the same thing, just different types of names assigned or what. If someone wants to clarify that, I'm open to hearing that. But I have seen these uh, critters before. And Ugh. they can be they're just a, they're more of a nuisance than anything else. And, it's and man, you can definitely hear them. Like this time of the year, it's... They're probably very loud down yeah, south. Yeah, screaming. And, and usually yeah. the white... Uh, uh, uh. Otherwise, yes, sorry. Um, it's been one of those mornings already. But yeah, yeah I mean, really, but by the time they come out, though, um, usually the wife's tail is six six weeks till the first frost, which obviously not true because I've heard them out as early as June before. So oh. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I, let's hope not because hope that not. would be an early winter for us. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Otherwise, though, another interesting story, though. A determined man's latest attempt to use a floating human hamster wheel to walk on water <laughs> up the East Coast was a washout. A man trying to use a giant floating contraption to run from Florida to New York by way of Bermuda ran into some problems and was washed ashore. Authorities were called to reports of a UFO on a Florida beach. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, that's just too funny. That would be an, an unidentified floating object and found the hamster-like wheel vessel beached with, with pilot Reza Bellucci inside. Bellucci has been unsuccessfully attempting this voyage, which he says for, is for charity since 2014. That's quite a while. And when he famously refused the Coast Guard's assistance on the high seas and then had to be rescued by the Coast Guard on the high seas, despite Bellucci's latest walking water, watercraft washout, he had to admire his effort. However, however, Bellucci's current game plan just may not hold water. <laughs> Man, yeah, you might need, to, might need to make a steering wheel for that thing if you're going to try to... <laughs> Go across right. parts, of, go across the ocean like that, and I mean, I have, I have so many other questions too about this attempt. But yeah. oh dear, so I like the idea. I like that he's doing it for charity and yeah. that he's determined. He's been doing this a long time. However, you know that thing looks—it looks more like a prototype to me than like something that might actually get him there. 
Um, you know, it looks like something that'd be a lot of fun to play with in the pool, um, but <laughs> maybe not something that I'd want to go, you know, trekking across the ocean with. And, and, I get, think, the, yeah. and get the Coast Guard involved. Right, <laughs> and you know, he seemed a little upset that they wanted to help him out and needed to end up helping him out, but you know, you got to think of how lucky he is that they even found oh, him out there. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Lord forbid, I mean, the worst case scenario could happen if you... Right. If you, yeah. You have a little yeah. castaway situation on your hands, right. but, uh, yeah. The fact that they were talking to him, too, and they were saying, are you sure you're going to continue <laughs> with this voyage? He's like, uh, yeah. yeah. Like, he's very, very determined. Yeah. So that's that's funny to see, like, the human hamster wheel there. Yeah, the human <laughs> hamster wheel. Maybe not. Maybe try it on lakes first before trying it on yeah. the ocean. Yeah. <laughs>